I believe that it's important to be consistent. It is something that I have tried very hard to do all of my life. I feel that if you are consistent in all aspects of your life, it reflects in the way people perceive you and the way they treat you. With our children, if you're consistent, they know what they can and they cannot do. With your employees, they know they, they know the same and they know what they what to expect from you and you know what to expect from them. And with your members, they know that they can trust you to make the right decisions. Why would I want to be anything else but me? This is the best God made when he made me. And God made everybody beautifully and wonderfully. And he gave us all talents. So why aim for less? One of the big issues that are, uh, I feel are affecting women in the workforce, and I'll speak for my industry, which is media, is just the inequality when it comes to pay and it, when it comes to also the type of jobs that you get. Um, it's very few times that you're going to find a woman being able to hold her on. You always see a man being paired with her because they feel that's the only time a woman will be able to do her job. And so we need to see a point where women are hired to do a job, not just because they're a woman but because they are good at what they do. Women generally have this conflict of who they really are and what they are actually doing. A lot of women um, are, are caught between balancing work and their family lives. Children, husbands, issues like that. So you find that women um, in most workplaces they will rise to a certain level but they will not go beyond it. they make a decision to say so for me family matters more and so they will not strive to go beyond even though they could because they find that the roles are too too demanding be brave experiment don't be afraid to fail this is really important because when you're young it's hard to think okay if i fail it's a disaster so I better be careful, I better be conservative, and then you never reach out beyond yourself. And the way that I think it's really important to communicate this to your generation, the young ones, is by saying, come and do this, try that. If you have an idea, come, let's talk about how you're gonna do it. One quality I'm most proud of in myself is that I'm very comfortable in my own shoes. And um, as women, most of the times we tend to compete with each other and try to be somebody else. And how I intend to share this is by every opportunity that I get, I talk to young women and show them the power that they have within themselves. Beauty fades, and beauty can fade over time. And as a woman, there's so many things in life that can make you less beautiful. You might have a difficult pregnancy, you might go through an illness, you might gain weight, you might lose weight. So beauty is not a static thing, but having a brilliant mind is, and a brilliant mind can develop over time. You can become more and more brilliant. And I think what's important in life is not so much people saying, oh my God, you're beautiful. What's important is saying that, oh my God, this woman really made a difference in my life, or this woman has done something significant, or this person is a really wonderful person. I think it's more important to have wonderful characteristics than to be beautiful. It's certainly resilience. I'm, uh, I'm very passionate about what I do and I'm very, very resistant to, to anything negative that comes my way. I am a go-getter, I'm result-oriented and how do I pass on this legacy of resilience to the young woman? I have formed or found, founded a foundation called Shaping Futures and I teach young women how to be resilient and how to go get their dreams and make them alive and uh, this is done countrywide and beyond the country. So really resilience, passion and fervent, to be fervent is my motto. As women, we are renowned for being multitaskers. We can do lots of things, but and we can juggle a lot of balls at once, but we're very, very tough on ourselves. So whether we've chosen to have a career or whether we have to have a career through necessity, I think our biggest challenge is balancing all the balls. So balancing the balls between work, husband, children, parents, friends, and ourselves so it's a very very hard juggling act and we have to make sure we nurture ourselves and look after ourselves because we can't perform in our jobs or in any of those other roles unless we are 
well and healthy and happy ourselves.